What's up guys, got a great little video for you here today, just a little quick one. If we go over to our software view, uh, we're working in Substance Painter today and what I want to show you is how to add these little decals to your uh, models. So stickers, uh, patterns on clothing, um, logos, anything like that. Uh, got to show you how to add those. So first of all, what do we need in order to do this? Uh, we're going to need the graphic itself and we're also going to need a stencil. Now this stencil is an alpha, it's basically the shape of the brush that we are going to apply. So first of all what we need to do is we need to bring these into Substance Painter and to do that we just go File, Import Resources, Add Resources, Navigate to your folder where you have these and then just select the ones you want. So I've already brought the blue one in, I've already brought the stencil in but just to show you how we set these up. The, uh, the logo itself, little green badge, we want to set this to a texture. And the stencil, the little black and white circle that we have there, we want to set that to an alpha because that is a brush shape. So whatever shape your design is, you should have a stencil the same shape. And how you would do that is in Photoshop, when you're making your design, uh, just flatten it, paint it white, and then put a black background underneath. That's all we have to do. Okay. Um, what we want to do is we want to import these resources. Uh, I'm just going to go current session. That means that when we close Substance Painter, these uh, will no longer be uh, in the shelf down here. If you set it a project oil barrel, they'll always be there uh, anytime you work on this, this particular project. And if you set them to shelf, they'll be there forever. They're just part of your, your resources then. But I'm just going to set it to current session and hit import. And now how I do this is actually very easy. What I want to do is create a new layer. So just add a layer, not a fill layer. We use fill layers a lot, but in this case we just want a regular layer. And I'll call this one green sticker. And a regular layer is like a regular paint layer in uh, Photoshop where we can just paint whatever we want on it. Uh, and what we want to do, we want to take that stencil uh, You'll notice there, if it doesn't come up where you want it, if we just uh, type in the name of it, and you can actually search for it on the shelf. So first of all, I want my stencil, and I'm just going to drag that in here to the uh, to the alphas. Let me show you just what happens if I don't do that. If you use any other alpha, this is what we get. So that's why we need this stencil. It's the same shape as our design. So we just drag that in there, drag it right over. You can search for it manually in here, but it might be quicker doing it this way. And then what we want to do is we want to take the design itself. And down here, uh, base color, we normally have just a solid color, uh, like so. But I want you to just take your little logo design and drag it over the top of this little gray box where it says base color. And that adds that in there. And now we can paint that sticker on. Easy peasy. You can also change your height, change your metallic, uh, change your roughness, etc. to get uh, all the usual kind of effects you can get with these. So there we've got a kind of a metallic sticker now. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Thank you very much.